All right, today we're back in Bonzel on Highway 76. We're gonna go for a skate, so come along. All right, so yeah, it's really good to be back in Bonzel, back in 76. Uh, it's really bright out, really green. It's springtime, so it's gonna be a really fun skate. Yeah, I've been meaning to come out here and skate and film, and uh, just haven't got around to it until now. I'm on my way to Palm Springs, so I decided, you know, I should go for a skate, film, and uh, just enjoy it. So this part of the trail is a little bumpy, but it's okay. We're almost to the smooth part. And it's a lot more green and lush than it was last time. Yeah, last time I was here, it was in the winter time. So, got a lot more rain, a lot more sunlight. A lot more beautiful vegetation and so when you're skating in the bike lane next to cars there will be pebbles so just be aware of that be really really careful about those pebbles if you absolutely have to fall fall to the right you want to stay as far as you can away from those cars and if you're gonna skate with a group then uh, skate single file and uh, so right now, the shoulder lane's getting a little wider, so I like that. It's a lot safer, it's so we can stay as far as we can away from those cars. And also, this time of the year, there's gonna be snakes around, so you really wanna watch out for snakes. Uh, I was out skating in San Marcos a few days ago, I did see a snake. It wasn't a rattlesnake, but you still gotta watch out for the snakes. If you see something in the trail, you can't tell if it's a snake or a stick. Just, uh, just watch out. All right, yeah, dude, it's beautiful. It's good to be in Bonsall. I really enjoy being in the countryside because I'm more of a suburbanite, more of a coastal suburbanite. And this is only a few miles from my house, but I usually don't come out this way unless I'm headed to like Temecula or Palm Springs or Big Bear or Vegas. I mean, I'm usually just not headed this way. So it's good to be out here. And this is pretty fast. It's pretty smooth. So last time I skated out here, it took me uh, 20 minutes to get to the end. And I'm um, headed to Highway 395. That's the end of the line. Then I'm gonna turn back around, then get back in the car, head to Palm Springs. Do some skating, do some filming, do some relaxing. But uh, yeah, it's really colorful. I love the springtime. It's just so colorful this time of the year. It's great. And I feel like the springtime is the best time to film because you see a lot of that colorful vegetation. And this is also a good place to skate if you don't want to be bothered. There's no trail offenders. There's no one blocking the trail. So uh, there's no one crossing the trail without looking. There's none of that. There's just the trail and it's yours and there's no one else here. So it's awesome. And uh, yeah, last time I came out here to film, I was on the macro blades with 11.4 uh, inch frames, 110 wheels. And uh, right now, Low roads, so I got 125 millimeter wheels, and I got a 12.5 inch frame. So bigger wheels, longer frames. Hopefully I can, yeah, do this a little quicker. But even if I don't go faster than last time, I'm just enjoying being out here. So awesome.
love to skate. like that, bend your knees, lean forward, push out to the side. All right, look at those yellow flowers. Very pretty. You know, one person's weeds is another person's bouquet. So it's all about how you, uh, how you view things how you perceive things. I'll tighten up his ankle strap just a little. There we go. And I might just be a little bit shaky, but that's just part of the raw skate experience. This is too much fun out here. And this pavement is actually really, really smooth. I'm surprised. Because a lot of the times, sometimes when they pave the road, they ignore the shoulder lane. So uh, Highway 395 is not far from here. And on the 395, they paved the road, but they didn't pave the shoulder lane. So this is nice and smooth. This is chill. And once again, you gotta be really, really careful about those cars. Stay as far to the right as possible. Single file. If you're in a group, you gotta keep it single file. You wanna stay as far away from those cars as possible. And as you can see, yeah, this is a bike route. So pretty out here, so good to be out here. But uh, yeah, last time I skated out here, last time I filmed, it was uh, I think December, and it was kind of cloudy, kind of cold. I wasn't sure if it was gonna rain or not, it didn't. And uh, this time of the year, it's so nice to just come out here. And summertime on this trail is fun too because it's really, really warm and toasty. But uh, springtime, 
It's not as toasty, but it's just really bright and colorful. Okay, so we're approaching a bridge. The thing about these bridges is there's grooves in the road. And so your wheels can actually lock up into the grooves. And so on a surface like this, you just want to keep moving your feet. If, you're, uh, if your skate is perfectly straight, it can lock up into that groove and uh, you can lose your balance that way. So you want to stay, uh, stay smooth on your feet. You don't want to lose your balance. So safety first. But yeah, dude, check out this valley. This is awesome. And the thing I love about inline, it gives me a chance to just connect with nature. So it's just so cool to be out uh, be out in the wilderness just uh connecting with nature and i think i'm making pretty good time so i've only been going for 11 minutes and i can already see the 15 so hopefully i can make some good time and to be honest at this point in my uh inline experience i'm not really concerned with being the best skater being the fastest skater i think i just really want to enjoy skating make the best content that i can and inspire people to skate and build an inline skate community. Yeah, but yeah, dude, check this out. Check out those birds. Check out this really tall green vegetation. It's so pretty. It's so pretty out here. It's like I'm skating through paradise. And also comment below. Let me know what type of content you want to see. The way that I film is actually a little bit unorthodox. Most people that make skate videos, they film in selfie mode and they get a really long selfie stick so you can actually see the skater from their skates to their helmet. So let me know, like, would you prefer selfie mode or would you prefer something like this? Except with like a really long stick so you can see my feet. Like maybe something like this. Or uh, do you want me to do vlogs? Because uh, most of my skate, actually all of my videos are all one take, no editing. But would you prefer a vlog that's edited? Or would you prefer the raw skate experience? Just let me know. And the whole point of these videos is to sp inspire people to get out and skate. So hopefully you see these videos, you feel inspired to go skate and make your own skate videos and share your skate community and your skate terrain. Because one thing I do love about inline YouTube, you get to see uh, terrain from all over the world. It's like if you watch Ricardo, you get to see South Africa. And if you watch Tiago, you get to see France. And if you watch Pascal, you get to see more French. And then if you watch Felix, you get to see Germany. And uh, yeah, if you watch 30 and Roland, you get to see Oregon watch back to blading you get to see the carolinas and so i love how inline youtube gets everyone an opportunity to uh just showcase their skate terrain show the type of terrain they like to skate on and uh that's one of the reasons why i felt inspired to make this channel because i wanted to share the type of terrain that we skate on out in southern california Check out this valley, it's so pretty, so colorful, just awesome. Yeah, so last time I came out here to film, this was all yellow and orange. And now it's springtime, it's green. And I think when I come back in the summertime, It'll probably be a little bit more gray and brown, but it's cool how the trail uh, changes colors with the seasons. That's pretty awesome. Look at that cactus. It's 
awesome. So much cactus. You gotta love the cactus. Okay, so we're coming up on a couple intersections. We really want to watch out for cars. Don't just assume those cars see you. Don't just assume those cars are going to stop for you. Safety first. You got to watch out for uh, turn signals. And uh, yeah, dude, just watch out for cars. Okay, so I'm on the final stretch. I want to get good time, so gonna really push through try to get to the 395 faster than I did last time so it's gonna really buckle down it's gonna really take it seriously look at that vegetation look at that nursery it's beautiful you gotta love the palm trees yeah and cactus there's still a little bit of orange vegetation from autumn and uh, yeah pretty pretty cool Okay, so we're coming up on an orange grove. Now, I work as a produce clerk, so I love farms. I love, uh, love produce, I love seeing produce being developed. So anytime I get to skate next to a farm is really, really cool. And I'm also a vegetarian, so it's one more reason to just love produce. And so, yeah, I always enjoy being able to skate next to a farm. I love uh, family farms, industrial farms, community farms. Any farms are cool. Okay, so yeah, dude, the heat is on. Last time this took me 20 minutes. So uh, we'll see, we're at almost 18 minutes. If I don't beat my last time, that's okay. Haven't really been focused on speed skating, mostly just been enjoying it. So yeah, dude, check out that go. Sick, sick. Yeah, dude. It's warm, it's nice and toasty. So this is awesome. Okay, once again, this bridge has got grooves. And so I'm gonna keep moving my feet. I don't want to let my skates straighten out because if they straighten out, I'm gonna lock up. So don't wanna lock up, don't wanna lock it up. So we're just gonna keep on pushing. And especially if you have tri-skates, your wheels can lock up into those grooves. So safety first. And we are in the final stretch. Okay, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, it's living the dream. Yeah, dude, check out those red rocks. It's beautiful. Okay, final stretch, we're almost at the end. We're almost at 
Okay, 20 minutes and 50 seconds, not bad. I think it was maybe a minute quicker than last time, so that's awesome. Oh, it's hot out. It's very, very toasty. Whew. You gotta stay hydrated out here. Oh, but that was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, dude, I hopefully, hopefully these videos inspire you to get out and skate. And uh, if you wanna skate on the 76, uh, stay as far to the right as possible. If you didn't come with a group, single file. And I would recommend having the largest wheels you have. So uh, I prefer the three by one, uh, 125s. Now, some people do like the four by 110s just because they have more wheels touching the ground and it gives them a little bit more maneuverability. But uh, I think I'm more of a new school guy. I just like the three wheels. But uh, yeah, dude, look how pretty this is. This is awesome. There's a 395, it's a 15. And uh, yeah, dude, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, I'll be coming back with more content.